following video contains graphic imagery viewers discretion is advised anybody who is speaking to the building they need to ring 999 there is a dedicated line for this incident Every year, more than 20,000 people die due to fire and burns in India. It's a little, a lot of dead bodies that were all on the floor. They were obviously covered up, but there were a lot of people that did not make the fall. We rescued large numbers of people from inside the building very early on, across a range of different floors. I've spoken to crews who've been up as far as the 19th and 20th floor. In my 29 years of being a firefighter, I have never ever seen anything of this scale. Twenty-three people are believed to be trapped after an illegal gold mine in Indonesia's Sulawesi island collapsed. A grueling search and rescue effort has been launched. Fifteen people have been rescued from the debris so far, while three bodies of women miners have been recovered. Survivors estimate about 23 people are still trapped in the rubble of the mining pit in Parigi, Mutong district in Indonesia. This after makeshift wooden structures in the mine collapsed late on Wednesday due to unstable soil. While working, we came across a shocking fact. It was immediately obvious: water, the colour of cold coffee, almost no visibility, swimming against a torrent of water. Big question asked: What is the solution? It's not a mere project. It's an initiative to save lives of the innocent and to save those who are ready to sacrifice themselves for us. In short, an initiative to make this world a better place.